now we are on the home stretch of this particular debate. Quite interesting, right? Yes. Okay, let me start with you, Jerry. Um, the issue of presidential and gubernatorial debates. Let me start with you by just trying to understand do politicians really understand the real value of having these debates? Because it's one thing standing on top of an uh, SUV, Vijana Oye, Wamama Oye, this yeah. and that, and then now you have all the cameras on you mm. at prime time, yeah. you articulating your issue one by one. Okay. Do they really understand the value of that time given to them? Sir Victor, I think we need sanity in both sides. Mm. You know, when, when Ken was uh, Ken mentioned that um, uh, where somebody stands on the UV and then says that CC to Kona Watu, Namungu, Nawala, and Gine Waganga, and things like that, mm. and then the media picks that and, and puts it there. You know, politics is a very emotional kind of process. You know, people, yes. uh, people, uh, emotions really run high. Uh, so if if I hear my my candidates being called Muganga, and uh, you know, sometimes I feel uh, I, I feel bad. But mm. remember, in 2007, media was accused of fueling, you know, the, 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 the post-election violence, yes. post-election violence by the way they were reporting issues. So I think we need sanity by having media trying to sieve out some of the things that uh, mm. feels that uh, are not supposed to be out there. But then again, coming to the presidential debate, uh, ignore this presidential debate at your own peril, at, uh, as a politician or uh, somebody who wants to, to be there as a president of this republic. Mm. Media is not cheap. Media is relatively expensive. Yes. And, and if you are given a free platform there to speak to the entire nation, because majority of these people are listening on, on radio and they are listening you know on tv and things like that and you've been given an opportunity to vent out issues in your manifesto and you fail to come yes Maisha Tendelea, you know when when we were watching uh nairobi gubernatorial debate mm. and, and and a guy that was there mm. they didn't stop because sakaja never showed up in the first few minutes mm -hmm. they continued and we thought that a guy that was the most brilliant person in Nairobi because he was alone and he was debating alone until Sakaja came. I'm not saying that Sakaja outshined him or he outshined Sakaja mm. but the debate went on. Yeah, now so, there so, was some flesh into the debate. Yes, mm. so, so if, uh, if, if you say that my, my, my candidate is not going to come because there's media biasness or, or so, mm. the debate is going to go on. Uh, and the question that we need to ask ourselves at the moment is that uh, are politician holding the media at ransom or media holding the politician at ransom because uh, do we have other uh, uh, journalists who are pro other candidates and other because yes. when when, when uh, i had my uh, former colleague hussein mohammed uh, talking about them feeling that uh, probably uh, the deputy president might not go for this uh, uh, presidential debate mm -hmm. he said when my journalist was attacked you know, when my journalist from this media house, actually he mentioned even the media house, two journalists, for mm. one from this media house, another from media house, when my journalists were attacked, and we ask ourselves, you are a journalist, how? They're supposed to be as independent as they're supposed to be. Yes. They're not supposed to be, you are a journalist, you know? It's like you're paying them mm. uh, to, to, to report in your favor or something of sort. So, so, so this presidential and deputy presidential debates are very important because uh, bec the media is the principal purveyor of political information yes and this is where this is the time that we want to listen to what uh, these manifestos Kenya is not a reading nation we are <laughs> most of uh, we are we, we are so listening yeah. and we want to listen more for me to sit there matter of fact I can tell you most of these people they have not even seen these manifestos but from the bits that we hear from these presidential You're candidates, a few yeah, when they comment about them, that's yeah. when we, we say, okay, so that's what is there. I can tell you in my okay. village, I haven't seen any okay. manifesto from UDA mm. or, or from Azimio, mm. but we've heard of them being uh, talked about out here. Mm. So that, take that opportunity. I'll advise uh, the presidential uh, candidates, grab that opportunity vent out what is in that manifesto. Mm. Use that time to talk to us, okay. convince us that you are worth being the president, Absolutely. the next president of this republic. Because it's, it's the way you said, it's quite expensive. I remember yeah. we went for, anyway, sorry for another day. <laughs> um, coming to you, Ken, you know, based on what um, Jerry is saying, so how, if at all, a candidate snubs a debate for that matter, how does it change the political landscape? I think you do yourself a disservice and you do the public a disservice. Yes. I think 
what is important is if you believe in what you're telling people about institutions, mm. then you must also believe in the media institution in its entirety with its frailties and the strengths. <laughs> we okay. are at that institution. Right. We are part of that kind of, uh, space you are addressing. Mm. We are the medium because for you, I, 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 I'm at a loss. What do they define as media? Mm. Because media now is very, very diverse. Mm. If you are using social media, and you're on media, if you are using whatever means, mm. you're still using a medium. And that medium He's got certain things. So the people believe that they don't want to be accountable. They don't want to engage. Yeah. I think for me it's a disservice and I think it's undemocratic. You cannot begin to tell people, you'll do what I want to do. Granted that there will be perceptions. Mm. Granted that there are uh, what biases what we see them. Mm -hmm. But you have a duty to that person for whom you're asking, mm -hmm. seeking a vote and support. Because one thing I, I know is there is... Uh, I'm not very good in the Bible, I may not quote it. There is a lady somewhere in the Bible who said, I thought this judge is unfair to me. Mm -hmm. She went there believing the judge was unfair. But she did not refuse to go to the judge. She still presented her case and said, I will give my, I put my case before this judge and this judge has mm -hmm. to hear me. If they believe that we, uh, the media is bad, they have a right to present themselves and let the people decide whether we were unfair to them or not. Because Absolutely. then, because what we are looking at, we are looking at manifestos, we are looking at issues. Yeah. And this is where the responsibility is the media. That's why it has to be engagement. Mm. It's not about media versus politicians. Mm. It's about us all. The voter is going to listen to you. The media is going to ask you the question. Mm -hmm. The media is going to give every, you a chance yes. to engage. It's going to give the voter a chance to, uh, to engage with you. And it's also a test for us to prove how professional, how prepared we are mm -hmm. in the next 21 days to show that we can do it. Absolutely. And we have all have a stake in it and nobody. My mm -hmm. advice is present yourself. I would be, be very sad that if any one of them, and for those people, media, how, media our colleagues who are advising this mm -hmm. media, who are running media outfits and beyond the politicians, advise them to go. That's the right thing to do. Because even when you're working for them, you're still a, a professional media. Mm. You owe it to yourself that this okay. message must come because, out. Because, you know, th that reminds me of, um, <clears throat> every time we go for a debate, we tend to see a different side of a politician, a split yes. personality altogether. The moment he alights from his SUV, surrounded by, you know, bodyguards and what have you, then you have him one-on-one. -on -one. He's a different person altogether. And yes. some of them are brilliant minds. Yes. That's when you start realizing that politics and now articulating issues one by one. For example, if you're someone, how would you use uh, the money, the revenue given to a particular county to develop this particular county? And you see them, you know, breaking down the projects they plan and what have you. You see a real change and a plan that those people do have. But then, asking you this particular question, why would a politician decide to snub a debate with a particular focus yeah. of today today we have one in the yes, evening which yes. will be broadcast across all media houses yes, mm -hmm. yes, right yes. yeah so so just like the other two uh, have said mm -hmm. i think it would be foolhardy mm -hmm. for our politician to miss an opportunity to speak to millions millions of kenyans at mm -hmm. the same time those who've been doing media buying for this election you know that tonight's um opportunity and even the opportunity for the presidential b debate. Yes. If you are to pay for the media for this night, maybe you're talking about it's 100 million or something. Exactly. Upwards of 100 million. Exactly. Right. First of all, I'd like to say, I think there is a misnomer. The media debate is being organized by independent institutions. Mm. This is Media Council of Kenya and Editors Guild. And these institutions cover all media. They do, they're not biased towards one media or another media. Yeah. So the politicians should understand that the organizers of this media debate and who have been supporting all the, the debates around the country is the Media Council and Editors Guild. Okay. I, just want to, I just want to emphasize yes. that that is a very critical factor. So the idea that a particular media house has been unfair to you doesn't wash. But how, how, what do you think 
perhaps how do you think the, 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 the debates change the perception of the voters out there yes yes so i want to say two things one thing that has been i have noted in some of the debates is that the candidates are not well prepared so they're mm -hmm. not able to give their agenda properly and this is why people fear because you're not prepared and being prepared again i've gone to the fact that you need to have the right personnel around you to help you prepare for yeah. the debate. But I want to say that these debates are very important. If you noticed, even in the gubernatorial debate that was there for Nairobi, a lot of people realized what the candidates were offering. Yeah. A lot of people now understood why this candidate was on this side and why this candidate was on this side. So the debates provide an opportunity for you to share your vision, for you to share what you're going to bring when you come to office. But it also creates an opportunity for you to differentiate yourself. Mm. And that mm. is very important in a political race. Because yes. at the end of the day, we are voting for the person who we, thinks, we think can best deliver. Mm. And the debate gives you a chance to change the perceptions of, uh, of Wananchi who are watching. Yeah. And please remember, especially like for tonight's debate, a lot of the deputy gubernatorial gun candidates have been quite invisible. Mm. By the way, in this whole campaign period, we've not had their voices. We've not associated them with any agenda. We've not known them. Mm. So this debate gives an opportunity, opportunity one, for the See, members to the public to feel like they know a bit more about you yes for the public there is just direct connection yes and then to feel that you're authentic mm. because you know the challenge we have with politicians people always believe that politicians tell a lot of lies so this is an opportunity for you to come out as authentic for you to sell your vision so i want to to just um, suggest and i wish to plead to all the candidates mm. seize this opportunity seize this moment to talk to us seize this opportunity to share with us your vision seize this opportunity to let mama Mbogas and everybody this debate is going yeah. to be watched even those who don't have tvs will find a tv they'll find something or, to take home. or they'll listen to radio okay. so don't miss this opportunity to share your vision with right. the public i'm told you're running out of time but jerry as you as you as you also bring your voice mm -hmm. let me ask you this um this all of you lancer do you think you're ready to cover this election having in mind that we have got some team of fresh blood covering this election for the first time all right for the first time the experience the exposure um the high stakes in this election are we ready to start with you jerry uh, I, I think we are ready uh, i think we are ready the media uh, has done well so far mm. uh, apart from these small small uh, bits of biasness and, and, and unfairness but mm. they have really really tried uh, doing what they can uh, you know the media somehow has some sort of social contract mm -hmm. with the people uh, to, to, to ensure that they put the information out there which yes. they have put the information out there they have let us know who these candidates are uh, only that uh, if as Sylvia uh, we, we don't uh, we're not even sure when it comes to uh, deputy uh, presidents, uh, deputy presidents, who is the deputy president of Agano Party? You know, yes. they need to come out there. Visibility is key to any politician. Put yourself out there. Let people know you, mm. so that even if we go to you know to that machine uh, ballot paper and what, we can remember your face. Have something that we can remember you with. Yes. You see, uh, somebody like Wajakoya with the durag and the sh sh shaggy, you know, a beard and things like that is a f an image that you cannot forget. You yeah. know. So put your images. Yeah, the image is key. Put right. your uh, yourself out there in the media. So don't say that because I was not reported yesterday, I'm not going to go to that uh, you know debate because the media never reported me yesterday. Mm. Uh, but all in all. Uh, I think we are ready, uh, ready. As, as a media fraternity, we are ready. All we just need to do is just uh, uh, let's be responsible mm. and always remember that this country is not for the journalists, it's not for the media, mm. it's not for politicians, it's for all of us. Okay, on and a scale we, of 1 to 10? On a scale of 1 to 10, probably I'll give them 6. 6 is too low, Jerry. I'll, I'll give them <laughs> look like I'm, we're no, still I'm, far away. No, from, I'll give them a 6 the because we, we can change. Okay. Uh, uh, one day in politics uh, is a very, is long, a very long time. Thank you, Thank you yeah. Jerry. Coming to you, uh, Ken. I think we are more than ready. There's mm. been a lot of training rolled out by both uh, the media, yeah, council, which you actually undertake. Yes, right. and uh, the Kenya Editors Guild. There's been a lot of engagement. Uh, we could do better in terms of uh, allowing more engagement mm. so that we also do a bit more research mm. so that when we are coming to those debates, we are giving profiles, we are giving in fact files. So there is, they need, we need to put more research team behind us so yeah. that we're not just looking at faces, mm. so that people also can tie those facts to mm. them. And what is important is that everybody, everybody will get value. The voter will get value mm. for what they're looking for. 
the candidate will get that visibility for them to know who they are. Yes. This is the time they are getting unmasked mm. and they have to allow themselves to be unmasked. And for the media, for us, we have a role to say that we can maintain the public trust. Mm -hmm. This is what is important. We Absolutely. must be there. Value for everybody. Mm. It's about Kenya and it's about our future. All right. Allow me to break the protocol and say ladies last. Thank you. Sylvia. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah I, I really think that the media is prepared. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, I want to commend uh, the media owners for really putting resources behind uh, training the journalists. It takes a lot of resources. And also the institutions like Media Council who have been helping. I just want to say that it is important now, between now and election day, mm -hmm. that uh, the media takes out kind of like a backward view of exactly what will make the t you know August 9th an amazing and awesome reporting day. Yes. So they need to do their homework, put in place the resources that they need to put in place because you cannot do it on the day itself. Mm -hmm. So between now and, and the election, they need to make sure their proper staffing is in place, they're properly trained, yeah. the research is done, and all the resources that are needed are put in place. Yeah. I want to wish the, the young journalists well, because I know it is an overwhelming experience, <laughs> especially <laughs> those who are reporting on TV mm. for the first time. Mm. It's not going to be easy, but I want them to know that it can be done. Can I want to say that one of the most critical things between now and the election time mm -hmm. is for the media to be seen to be fair. They need to be seen to be providing the right the right support to all the candidates mm. and they also need to be seen to be doing their work from a very unbiased uh, point of view mm. so of course perceptions are very important and somebody can argue it's all about perception it's yeah. not the truth when people complain but it is important for the media to also ensure that they are doing some public relations mm. and managing the reputations of their we organizations can, we can all agree that Silva is missing a news map now. yes <laughs> yes I am yes. <laughs> yes but they need to ensure that they are they're, gi they're giving the perception yes. that they are being fair. Absolutely. That's my last one. Gentlemen, thank, thank you. you so much. Mm. It's been a very cold but hot, heated uh, discussion here in studio. With just 21 days, we wanted to understand how media is ready to cover this particular election. Um, yes, so as a politician, go out there and grab this opportunity. Thank you so much, Jerry William Ocheng, who is a media practitioner, decided to get into politics, but... <laughs> We would like to see him back in the news <laughs> again. Sylvia Michulu, um, who is the CEO of Kenya, uh, Public Relations Society of Kenya, and Ken Bosire, who is a training and media consultant. Thank you so much for joining us in the show. And of course, you, as a viewer, for being a part of the show. We are taking a break. You know who is coming back? Jen, after this break. Stick around. Our pleasure.